Okay, this is just a very quick video to let you see the uh, case and size differences between a Raspberry Pi Pi bow case and a Raspberry Pi in an AX Iris case. So very, very similar. I'm going to just tilt them towards the camera so you can see them actually from above, trying to avoid the reflections. So absolutely, they're both very snug around the actual Raspberry Pi board itself. This case has the posts external to the surround and it has a really nice neat design going around the outer rim where the pi bow very much keeps it integrated within the curved cornered rectangle shape and it accentuates the the kind of very kind of brick builder block kind of nature um, where the uh, colorful plastics etc uh, infer a kind of a Lego-esque uh, feel to this. Depth-wise, the Raspberry Pi, sorry, the Pi bow case is, is certainly shallower, so you've got a much more compact uh, Raspberry Pi housed in the Pi bow case. One plus point for me on the Pi bow case is that the bottom is also transparent, where the AX Iris case is uh, obviously opaque, it's this black material, and although they've both got heat vents, etc., I don't know why this uh, couldn't also be see-through. Um, I think uh, it, I think the uh, the beauty about revealing the uh, circuit board is very much what this is about. They both echo the Raspberry Pi Foundation's logo, so this is absolutely uh, permission given, uh, dedicated device. Um, so they both have the same idea where they've used to cut through the actual segments of the raspberry fruit in the design to allow the hot air to to rise, and there's also a, a good air vent. Um, with regards to airflow, I guess you could say therefore that the AX Iris case is, is far more open than the Raspberry Pi case, but certainly looking at the uh, areas where they've enshrouded, it's the connectors, it's nothing that's going to get hot, and the bit that's going to get hot is the chip, and does all the work in the Raspberry Pi, and surprise, surprise, that's where the air vent is. So in both cases, actually, they've, they've done the same thing. They've got the air vent right above the, uh, the one unit on the board that has any heat, uh, and both of the, again, the same kind of idea, the... AXRS case uses a rubber feet to raise it off the floor, but you've got about a four mil clearance on both cases. In this case, with the Pibo case, it's done because of the uh, the threads and the bolts that go through to compress the uh, layers together. But you've got the same kind of idea. You've got a kind of four mil air clearance, or lets a little bit of air in naturally, so as warm air rises out, little there'll be a natural draw in of air from the sides and underneath. So you want to just make sure you don't put this on a fluffy fleecy rug or a towel, etc. So as long as there's airflow to the bottom and clear to the top, you can have no issue with heat on either case. And um, that's really just to let you know, very similar sizes, quite similar designs, the idea of a, a clamp unit. Um, this case needs a modified side to allow the ribbon cable connector to come through the side and to be accessible, where the Pibo case has already got a built-in uh, quite well hidden slot but there's a if I've angled it now you can just see that a little ridge there that allows the ribbon cable to come up and through and out to the side so a little bit more uh, pre-thought with regards to how to design uh, an option with the ribbon cable where the AXRS case goes and gives you an alternative side included within the, within the purchase so there's no additional cost here but you actually have a, a cut through option if you want to uh, later add a cable to your case. In both in both examples though you'd need to take and disassemble the tops and lids, go down a little bit, plug in your ribbon cable to the Raspberry Pi board, reassemble the cases and uh, you're off and laughing. So um, not much in it. Uh, obviously in colour and style, they're both very stylish I think. Both have the uh, extremely good uh, see-through case top. I think that's absolutely crucial for me in all Raspberry Pi cases. Anything that encloses it and hides it, not so keen. Um, color wise and for funkiness and to really attract uh, I think the eye and to really grab people's attention I think this multicolor case is an absolute winner it's stunning and I think it's uh, really going to uh, draw the eye of young adults and kids and children alike as well as adults and I think it's a, a very pleasing case and uh, it's very very sturdy and hot to hold and handle you can really squeeze this thing there's a lot of there's a lot of layers going on here at the corners and once assembled this is actually very very sturdy um, this again is sturdy don't get me wrong at all it's a good it's a good strong box as well 
um, possibly actually because you can stand it up on the edges and sides because the corners connect a little bit like feet you've got a kind of sideways versatility but whenever you've got cables connected into your Raspberry Pi so apart from when it's on a shelf unconnected you know you you, you really are going to have you know here's a HDMI cable you're going to have connectors and cables plugged into the sides all the time and you're really not going to be able to do anything other than have it on the uh, on the base and the back as it's intended so just to show you here this is quite a chunky HDMI cable that I've been using but the uh, Pibo case has a really nice sunken relief around the connectors to allow for large sockets and large plugs etc and uh, the um, AXRS case very similar again just leaves a very sheer clear face allowing you uh, good access to your plugs has the USB connectors rather proud of the case and here they're very flush so there's no protrusions at all with the Pibo case and with the AXRS case you've got a little bit more protrusions so you've got here the uh, yellow composite uh, video as well as the USB connectors proud of the case and here you've got really nothing snug at all uh, much more snug sorry and apart from perhaps a millimeter you can just about see it there and with the USB the same it's uh, really really very subtle you can just feel it with your fingers it's not the kind of thing you can really see um, uh, a feeling of more compactness with the Pi bow and uh, both good cases make your minds up um, I'll put all the website details at the bottom under the link on the under the two cases so again just so you hear it axiris.be this is a Belgian company and this is Pibo in fact the website's on the back so why don't I just let you see that pibo.com it's a UK company they ship worldwide charge you the same rate it's just the only difference is the post and packaging and uh, go for colour go for clear clean elegant design your choice